Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week I have a big push I wanna do on this project. I wanna get as far as possible, no promises on exactly what I'll be getting done, but I'm just gonna work hard on this one in particular. I'm stopping here for the day because I am going to cut this mosaic into four pieces and this is going to be where the bottom portion is. This middle portion has already been separated. This will be the third section and then this will be the last section. So I'm going to stop right there. I have just a little bit of thin set and let me show you. What I'm making doing. an outdoor planter. So this was a styrofoam um, cooler. And I took the lid off and cut out pieces to make feet. And then I cut a drainage hole there in the middle, covered it with mesh, and now I've been slowly coating it with thin set. So this was something that I was working on in the classroom as a sample for my students. And that's as far as I got. I did have one student who uh, just finished uh, her planter the last day of class she grouted it so that was wonderful but I only have a little bit of thin set left today but I'll be putting it on the inside here that's it starting a new project. It's quick and easy, but it's kind of on the big side. Let me show it to Here you. Here it is. It's this big metal butterfly. Now this substrate is flexible, so it's not very good for a mosaic in general, but I've done one similar in the past. It is this one. This is a metal butterfly that my sister gave me a number of years ago, and then I decided to bling it up just by putting 
some mirrored glass on there and not grouting it because the grout would just crack. It's not a very good, because it's a little bit too flexible, not a very good substrate. So it's not a candidate for um, covering the whole thing and then grouting it. It's just not strong enough and it's too flexible. So same thing with this one. And I'm gonna start with these silver parts. I am just gonna be adding plain mirror. And then I think I'm just gonna use regular stained glass for the blue parts. And that's it. And I'm gonna go kind of on the light side because you know, glass can be heavy and I don't want this to be super duper heavy. So if some of this blue shows, kind of like on here, some of the color is showing, uh, I'm just doing it quick and easy. And if some of that color shows behind there, that's kind of what I'm going for so it doesn't color it, cover it all up. That's it. pre-cut an inventory and then if I need to cut anything down as I'm working I can do that as well. I am going to be pulling exclusively from my scrap bins. This is a great project for scrap glass. I can mix up the blues and it's going to be great in the end. Here it is, all finished. A quick recap, I used silicone to adhere the pieces and there are a couple reasons for that. First of all, I needed a, and he said that was waterproof and silicone is waterproof. Second of all, I needed something that would not be a problem with the metal and that is silicone. The metal expands and contracts and silicone has some flex to it. So silicone is really a good choice. It's also a neutral cure for this mirror and I'm not grouting it. This is done. It was just a quick and easy project. I would have to say it's not high art, <laughs> but I really enjoyed doing it. And I just used scrap in the end, so it was no big deal. Uh, it wasn't very expensive to make overall. And this is going in a shop. So someone had asked me to do some, some exterior pieces for a shop, but when they found out how much my stepping stones were, I realized it wasn't gonna work and I had to do something that was quick and easy. And that's exactly what this is. I think this is all they want. They don't want fine art or anything that takes a lot of time. This was nice, quick, easy. And so then it will be a lower price point for someone who wants to buy a mosaic. That's it, really blinged it up. Here I go, working on the wing.
right here. And because this one is a little bit different than the other ones, it had all this sky down here and it has a different wing. I am measuring down from the top and it is seven inches. Now I'm bringing it over to this one to just show that it's seven inches. I have just uh, one or two of the blues that I've been using before I move to the next blue, which is this one. And seven inches on this side, it's the same way. There are one or two of the blues that I've been using before I move into this one. So I, that's what I'll do on this St. John. disclosure I have two of these one was red and orange and I wasn't sure if I would get to it this week but I did so here I am working on the second half of it and I'll be dropping it off uh, early next week and excited about the progress on this. I think I can knock it out and finish it next week. I just have part of the wing and the sky is going in very quickly. So yay, that's gonna probably be done next week. And I really show every single time that I went in and, and covered this, but it is almost covered, just a bit on the inside, a bit right here, and then it will be ready for a mosaic. That's putting it together.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.